Right back time. This thing weighs a ton. I'll find out what's in that after. Don't forget to be links down below. For things I can give you links for. Get to make the fight. 4606. These are replacement chips for something. What are they in? Oh no. Spudges. So I've got one here which I quite like and it's starting to get a bit tired. Strong in this here. It's a good scraper and this one's good for getting in between things and opening things up. It's quite a fine one and you can actually lever off that and stuff like that. So I've got one of these already which is green. I've looks exactly the same, it probably is the same uh, is it? hold on, comparing it no it's not exactly the same so it's different, you know, obviously different supplier so you've got HJ on this one as well so it's not exactly the same but it's very similar one's a clone of the other which one's a clone? I don't know so I've got a bunch of these because this one is starting to fail it's getting broken and stuff like that on the tip here and I've been using this a lot so I thought I'd get some replacements and spares, you always need spares. This one's been repackaged, but I'm guessing it's because it kind of broke the bag it was in. You'll see why in a minute. Okay. So, I was doing a repair on something during the live stream, and it became apparent that although I've got circuit pliers, the ones I've got were actually not the right ones they're like this type which slope inwards these are for internal circlips all right so in other words you're trying to close one up to release it from an internal hole what I needed was external circlip which is like this which slopes the other way you squeeze it to open it up so that's from around a post, you've got a circle around a post, you can do that and it opens up off the post so you can even release it. This is what I actually needed. So I've got one a bit like this, different brand and stuff, but I thought right, I'll get a set of these ones because I've been lots of times I've had issues with circlip things like that and just trying to get the right tool to get them off. And I thought I'll just get a set because why not? It's not that expensive to buy a set of these, I don't remember exactly how much it was but it wasn't exactly horrendous so check out the links down below for these if it's sort of thing you might be interested in but the main thing here is the internal versus external circuit pliers and the same for these things too straight ones and angled ones well that's a MagSafe cable so I've been repairing a bunch of MacBooks recently I've been doing videos about that as well I could give them 25 MacBooks and a lot of them just need a bit of refurbishing, a bit of care, and they're all right. Some actually do need repair. I've repaired some of them already. I think I've got five left to fix, some of that. Got serious issues. But I didn't have a MagSafe 2 cable, which I can put in my power supply, so I've been using the, like, the basic charger to power these things up. But it's really useful to have a MagSafe 2, which you can run off a power supply, to monitor the current that's going into this unit, right? So if you're trying to know kind of what's going on, knowing how much current is being consumed by the computer whilst you're trying to diagnose it, that can give you clues about what's going on. You know, you can see it's cycling or pulsing up and down or whatever you see. Because if you get cycling on a power supply rail, well, on a power supply, and you see it pulsing, then you know, you've probably got a short summary on the board and it's trying to power up and it's protecting itself and shutting back down again, that kind of thing. So you can't see that if you're using an external charger, but you can if you're using something like this. So. Um, and you've got a decent power supply to do it with, which I do. Um, okay. Ouch. TP4056. 4056. O201 resistor book. 170 values. Now this was not that expensive, it's like I think it's about thirty dollars in Zealand or something for this. So I didn't have any well did have some O201 resistors but not many. And I'm hoping that I've got some values in here. I, I don't remember what values are actually in it. I think it was 348k was what I was looking for. Yeah, it's the same values I got in my other book. But this is a much nicer book actually, it's better quality. 
it's actually printed on here rather than stickers. That's much nicer. That's good. Yeah, all the other ones I've got, I've got like stickers stuck on here and they tend to fall off and you have to glue them back on again, it's a bit of a pain. But this is printed on, that's really nice. And so there's 1% resistors, so that goes in my sample book. So I've also found a set since then, and that was significantly more money, but I think it had 400 values, I think it was, and it had all these weird values, which are things which you come across in equipment sometimes, such as MacBooks. So the values which I'd need are actually in that book. So I'm probably going to buy another one yet. You'll see that in the future mail bag, but uh, brilliant. You just don't quite know what you're going to need sometimes. I mean, 0201s, you can see how small these things are, right? There they are, there. So, uh, yeah, they're not fun to install or use, but sometimes if you're working on things like MacBooks, you need these parts. It's not a sample book. This one is capacitors. This one I didn't actually have at all. If I can get the thing open, I may never have it. I can't get it open. All right. So these are 0201 capacitors, uh, COG type, 50 volt there, and again this is a, this is X7R type there, 10% X7Rs. So there's not many values in here. Again, I I did find another book which was better, so I'm probably am going to get that. But again, this is a really nice one. It gets it's printed rather than a sticker, so that's actually nice quality. It's actually better quality than normal. So that's pleasing but I didn't have any 021 with capacitors at all I only had um, 0402 the smallest I had before so at least now I've got some of them and one I actually needed before was a uh, 100 nanofarad I think it was yeah there's 100 nanofarad in there so that's good but um, yeah useful things to have now the big heavy box well it's not that big but it's definitely heavy it's not very good still still well enough. Let's get this. Lots of padding. Newspaper and stuff. Stuck in here. Okay. Anything on the bottom of the box? No. It's all on the top. Usual mistake. Heavy item. Nothing at all protecting the bottom. There's a bit no, I think it's a piece of cardboard. Just one layer of cardboard extra. They should have put some of this underneath it as well, anyway. Very heavy. Do not bend. <laughs> Pretty hard to bend now, I think. Well, the first thing it says do not bend, which is quite surprising because you now I don't think it's possible to bend this. Other things I found lying around, we've got a bag here which is open which has got one of these covers in it, only one. We've got another bag here which is sealed which has got two covers in it. And I've got one bag with two bolts in it with washers. I can't find a second bag. I'm not sure I've got all the bits that are supposed to come with it. I've gone right through the box, opened up all the bits of paper and everything to make sure it's not like stuck inside a piece of paper. The box has got nothing else in it, that is it. I might need to use a real knife for this, it's a bit tough. <laughs> here we go. Get some more bits here. Maybe I realise they have to mount and shut them back in after. So, this is what we got. There's a battery there. And there's another battery here. Okay, some extra bits as well to go for it for free one, so okay, nothing missing, brilliant. Um, so, in here we have tops and bolts and washers, so that's all the parts for one battery and all the parts for a second battery, great. So, these are some Ritar, Rita, I don't know, EV1222s, so these are for a repair I'm doing. Not for the UPS, it's something else, a piece of industrial equipment. Basically there's a big battery pack and it has batteries of this size inside it. It's very expensive to buy, so I've been asked to repair it. Now these batteries themselves are cheap, but it still can still be cheaper than buying a whole new battery pack. We're probably going to do a video about it. I thought it might be a little bit interesting to someone, maybe. But these batteries will go in there 
Let's just quickly check the voltages on these, just to make sure they're looking kind of okay at least, seeing as we have just received them. 12.7, get a connection. 12.68, yes, yeah, fine. Perfectly reasonable voltages, so they both look like they're in reasonable condition at least. This side from different batches, they've got different numbers on the top, different setups. So it's 240708 and 240820. So these are obviously made almost a year ago, but that shouldn't really matter. As long as they've been looked after in that time. But the voltages look good, so they probably are fine. It's a shame they're not from exactly the same batch. I prefer to have them from the same batch, exactly the same age. You don't get any issues with varying levels because these have to be connected in series. So these are basically two cells, so it could generate a 24 volt battery pack. That's good. I can go and get that job done now. Of course. We've got this big box here. Let's see what's in this one. What do we have here? Some empty boxes, I think. Just to use the padding. Yep, another one. Three of these. And four of these. Right. Got a bunch of batteries. A4096. These are the MacBook Air batteries. So that's the MacBook Airs. And then we've got a fifteen eighty two. Which are these ones? Which are for something else. I've actually forgotten what they are for. I've completely forgotten what they're for. That's right, number. It's for the MacBook Pros. We're doing some refurbishment work. So these batteries are for the Retina MacBook Pros. Um, right, other videos to watch down below. Maybe one of these videos will be there. Subscribe over there if you want to subscribe. As a Patreon support link over there if you want to help support the channel, help to buy things like a massive sample book which has got loads of values in it, which I really need, which is quite expensive. Good stuff.